Hey guys, I hope you're all well. I've had plenty of questions on my Instagram on, uh, on my last video as well about how I do my bricks. Um, so I'm doing an in-depth video now to show you how I do them. Um, this is my latest build, The Blacksmith. You can see all the little bricks individually on there. Um, so people have just asked how I cut them and how I make them. So I'm going to use this video, show you how I do them. And I managed to get hold of some Styrodor, um, which is quite nice. It's quite difficult to get here in the UK. And I got that from Rock Manise. Um, he's a good friend of mine. Um, and then he goes around the corner, so I managed to get some off him. Um, I'll leave a link for that down in the uh, description. But yeah, I'll um, cut to the making of these bricks. They're really simple to do, same as everyone else does. Um, but yeah, I make them in specific sizes for the style I go for in my buildings. You can use any, you can use this method for making any size uh, brick, bearing in mind you've got a box big enough and you can shake it. All right, I'll um, bring you back in a sec. So now we have some more manageable blocks. I've, uh, as you saw, I milled the end square. Um, so we've now got 15 deep. I didn't actually measure. Now I've lost that, there we go, how deep these are. So these are gonna be, these are four. So we can do 10, 10, five, 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 and five. Yeah, and we should be okay. So we'll get 15 by 10. Just slightly out of 15, but if you make the whole house from these, it'll be fine. So, yeah, just yeah, near as near as damn it, I think. Yeah, you can see that it's not too bad. So, we've got 40 there, so we'll make a 10, a 10, 5, 5, 5, 5, and then we'll cut this in half for the 5 mil and we'll leave it for 10s. Okay, I'm gonna start milling some down. I'll bring you back when I bring back the logs of the specific sizes, so the 15 by 10 the 15 by five and the five by 10 as well. I'll bring you back when I've got those and I'll show you those and then I'll we'll slice them up and then we'll weather them. Right, as you can see, we've now milled up our lumber, um, our XPS foam lumber. So these are the logs for the five by 10 millimeter. And we have five by 15 millimeter. And we have the 15 by 10 millimeter. Now there's a lot less logs for the larger ones because they cover more area. These bricks will eventually cover more area than the smaller ones, obviously, because they're larger. Um, there's only one more extra for the smaller ones, but you, you'll use a lot more of these than you will of these, but these cover a larger area, so it makes sense in a roundabout sort of way. So, <clears throat> as you saw a minute ago on the um, time lapse, I had it set to 5 mil. We're now going to push it down a little bit further to between 4 and 3 mil ish um, on here to slice literally all of the blocks. They're all going to be the same depth. Um, uh, when you stick them on the board and um, it makes sense for them to be the same depth because you want the outer wall and the inner wall um, to look the same because they're going to be skimmed on the inside realistically and on the outside you, it's just going to be jagged. What's going to make the difference is when we shake it in a box of rocks. Um, the rocks are going to hit the foam at different places and it's going to indent and, and you know, display them around the corners out and everything and that's going to give us a nice jagged edge. Occasionally when you're cutting this, your hand's going to move. It, it, it always does, unless you're using a guide. I do have one, but I'm not using it today. I'm just going to show you the basic setup. It Sometimes you're going to get bricks that are less deep or more deeper than the others. And my English is very poor. Um, and then that will also give you a nice edge for when you're dry brushing the model afterwards. To catch the paint on, uh, it gives it a nice bit of light. Perhaps put a bit of moss in the corner of one of the bricks. So yeah, I'll um, set this up now and um, time-lapse the construction of the bricks and I'll show you them all at the end. By the way, it sounds like I'm not wearing a mask at the moment because I take my mask off when I'm talking to you guys because there's nothing worse than muffling, but I always put my mask on when I'm cutting my bricks. It's right next to me here. I've got a nice JSP one. This is from Screwfix um, and I replace these every three or four months depending on how often I use this. Um, so I've not replaced them this year yet, but I will do at some point. Right, I'll um, crack on and mill these up and bring you back.
here's all three sizes all cut up, ready um, for weathering. So you'll get them like this. Um, because of the heat of the hot wire cutter, some of them are going to stick together because you're holding them together. And you could spend ages doing this, but that's not what I'll, I'll be doing. So this one here and this one here. What I do, I grab a hold of a load of them and I scrunch them between my hands like this. Now it will weather them a fair bit, which is quite nice. And any, addition, and any additional weathering needed will be done with the box and the rocks. So what I'll do is just do a little bit of this. I'll separate most of them down. But you will find that even if you put them in a box just like this with some rocks, they'll pretty much all separate out anyway. So yeah, we'll just go through this. We'll mash a load up like this. I tend to only do this for the really small ones, so these are the 15 by these are the 15 by 5. Um, but for the larger ones, like the 15 by 10, you, you can literally just go through the lot like that and just snap them off. They all look nice and smooth at the moment, really nice sharp edges. But once we put them in a box of rocks, you'll see that they take shape really nicely. So I'm just going to go and shake those off camera because you don't want to listen to me shaking them for hours. Um, I'll bring you back shortly. Right after shaking them in a box of rocks, when I say box of rocks I literally mean a box with rocks in it. Obviously it has a lid, you don't want them going anywhere. So I shake them in a box with rocks for about 30 seconds. Open the lid, check the texture, and then go again if I'm not happy with the texture. The texture is going to be down to you, so your personal preference. But as you can see, with the bricks, it's rounded them off nicely. It's given them some texture to the, on the, the the flat faces as well. And that will pick up really nicely with the paint uh, when you dry brush and um, wash as well. So yeah, many of you asked. Um, so I thought I'd do an in-depth video of how I do my bricks. Um, yeah, as always like comment and subscribe let me know um let me know if you get this far into the video let me know how many bricks you think i've made um nearest um answer gets a cookie uk entrance only because i will post you a cookie thanks very much guys see you again